Use your targeting system. Boom! Bang! We're gonna get you a whole suit. Would you like that? Whoa, dude! The Mandalorian is back in episode one. Are they call it episode nine or something? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that episode was awesome. Reasons why I love that episode. It is a Star Wars Western show with Timothy Oliphant. Do you know who, do you know who that is? No, he has no clue, because I'm not going to let him watch Deadwood until he's like in his mid-20s. It's one of my favorite TV series, and I also watch, my wife and I watch all of the Justified series, so we love Timothy. The best character he always plays is like the law with blaster and a, and a short temper. And so I was super pumped to see him take that helmet off in their, their cantina that they had at that small yeah. town, huh? And he had this Boba helmet on. Oh man, and he had Boba's armor. armor. Uh, so cool. What an awesome episode. When we did this and the thing was lining up and yeah. he shot the rocket. He finally shot a rocket like we've been waiting for Boba to do for like decades, right? And actually yeah. uses the targeting system and fires that rocket. Yeah, it was super eight. cool. High five for Boba Rocket. Man, by him using Boba's armor, he made Boba more cool, I think, right? Yeah. Well, he took an oath that he will keep on this helmet at all times unless in school. So one thing I love about this show is that it keeps tipping their hat and referring back to the original Star Wars trilogy. Remember in the beginning? Guards, the ones that were guarding Jabba yeah. the Hutt. Yeah. Remember? And we saw them with the axes and they were like battling each other. Yeah. It's so cool and nostalgic yeah. to see those old so characters from the past movies. Pick one part of the whole episode that was your favorite. Um. That when they defeated that huge monster. Yeah, that, like, the Kray Dragon. That was so cool and I love how it didn't go according to plan, right? Yeah, I didn't like that. They were like cut open his belly, remember? Oh, they were eating, they were harvesting the meat with their like sickles and stuff? Yeah. That was super was, gross. And we, and we saw the bones like doing like that. That was oh, disgusting. Oh, I just thought of something that when the, when the Kray Dragon blew up and the Mandalorian came flying out, yeah. I think that was kind of tipping their hat back to the Boba Fett jet-packed out of that Sarlacc pit. Yeah. And they claimed that his armor protected him from being digested after Lord knows how many years. If you know how many years, leave a comment down below. Yeah, but, but uh, when he got eaten, how did he come alive? Got eaten. So the, the lore story about how Boba Fett um, didn't die in the pit that he fell into. What What are your thoughts? Yeah, no, whatever you say. That's right. A good answer, son. And that was so cool in the in the beginning scene when they were, and everyone held a gun to the Mandalorian's yeah. head and yeah. he used his whistling birds and they went and they went and they killed them all. But then first, what did Baby Yoda do? He hit the trigger then hide inside his cap. Yeah, that was so funny when he hit that button and went chunk and he's like, I'm out of here and he like hidden his little pod, you know? By the way, we did a review on this helmet. If you guys didn't catch it, I'll throw a video link up above. Cool. Um, but it's super fun. It's got the targeting and my large masculine tough man head won't fit in this helmet. So yeah. it's pretty much all his. Okay, so leave a comment down below if you guys know what the sand people are holding up. What was that white orb they were holding above their heads? Okay, I ideas. What do you think it could have been? An eyeball. Could have been an eyeball. I thought maybe it was an egg, but it was very spherical and covered in red goo, but maybe an eyeball, maybe an egg. You go down in the comments and, uh, and chat it up with everybody about what you think that big round thing was they were super excited to find inside of that giant, giant like cray worm monster from Tremors. It was a yeah. giant Tremor monster, yeah. which I heard they made another movie of, by the way. Oh, and then at the very end of the show, right, we see that dark figure turn around and walk away. So I have to say I went into IMDb, my favorite uh, website to refer to all the actors and movies and stuff, how to find everything. And I looked and I flipped through all the actors and I saw that guy's face and it said Boba Fett down below. So that was really Boba Fett out in the sand on Tatooine all by himself and we see him at the very end of the episode, so I'm super pumped. We're gonna see him. Has been like one of everyone's favorite characters. I've never seen so many mugs and t-shirts of a character who like barely did anything in the movies. I'm sorry guys, he looks awesome and he has one of everyone's favorite costume. But uh, we're finally referring back to him in the Mandalorian armor and stuff. Comment down below if, I don't remember in the Star Wars episodes one, two, or three, if Jango Fett, does Jango Fett ever talk about his armor or Boba about how he has his Mandalorian armor? Because he, he's had, he's got his helmet off when he's talking to uh, Obi-Wan. So he's not a Mandalorian, right? You with yeah. me? 
So is Django a Mandalorian? Um, haven't done the research yet. Why don't you chat it up with us? We'll see you down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome Star Wars Day!